We're here at the site of the worst massacre of Yidden since the Holocaust. Forgive my voice. I've been crying a lot and singing a lot with the Chayalim and the families of the hostages and those lost. I don't have much left. We're here in Kfar Aza. Every few moments, bombs are going off as the battle continues and our brothers and sisters are still in danger. Dozens and dozens of Yidden murdered here for no reason other than the fact that they're Yidden. We have to do something about it. I'm here. And I look at the crib. When in your life have you seen this? Bullets in a child's crib. We're hidden. We know who we are. We must live as who we are. We must act as who we are. We are the Um of Chesed, the Um of carrying our brothers and sisters. We have seen so much suffering in the last week. Wounded soldiers, families of hostages, hundreds of thousands of people displaced. My dear Chavar Shai, who I just got to know on this trip, he's taken it on himself to support these families. We visited widows, Almanis Yusayimim. Can't describe the pain. We danced with the father of a hostage, and he cried. Hundreds of soldiers came over to us to hug us, to cry on our shoulders. We had one message, we have one message for them. We are here with you. With Klal Yisrael, Arevim Zelazeh, we're one Uma, we're one nation, and we stand together. Every time I utter those words to a Chayal, whether an Ethiopian, a Sparti, Ashkenazi, young and old alike, they all respond in the same way, to hug and kiss us and cry and say thank you. We keep saying don't thank us. We thank you. We thank you for doing what needs to be done. We appreciate you. And they say, no, 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 we want to thank you. We had an event, Sunday night dinner, with one of the army brigades. And this, to me, is telling of the future of Kal Yisrael. We danced with the Chayalim. The songs they sang were not the old Zionist songs, the Yerushalayim Shalzav songs. They were Anachnum Aminim, we have no one to rely on but Hashem. I would say that perhaps a third of the Chayalim were religious, and all of them were Kemar, all of them were Yidin. And we started handing out tzitzis. Hundreds of soldiers from the elite brigades on the spot were putting on, their tz- putting on tzitzis, many for the first times in their life. We brought out a safe attire, which was gifted to this brigade, the Galani Brigade. They started dancing with the safe attire, running up to kiss it. They would grab a shmat out of their pocket or something to put it on their head, but not to kiss it once, not to kiss it with no hand like we do in Shul, to hug and kiss and cry with the safe attire. We spent an evening with the family of Yonis and Chaya Zulai, a beautiful Moroccan family. Group of brothers, Yunus and Chai was murdered on October 7th on Samastair. The family had one wish, which was his wish. He always wanted to have a safe attire written. The family had one wish to write a safe attire. There we stood in the heart of Nachlaut. The mixed neighborhood, as they say in Rushalayim, everybody came out crying, hugging the safe attire, wanting to dance with it, wanting to be connected to Hashem. My friends, the past is not here. The future is here. We have an opportunity to bring back our brothers and sisters, to connect them to Am Yisrael, to connect them to Torah, to connect them to Yiddishkeit. They want it. They're begging for it. Having spent a week here, I didn't meet one soldier, and I spoke to hundreds, not one who had any type of discomfort 
disrespect or lack of appreciation for his being a member of Klal Yisrael. Even he went to visit an Arab soldier in the hospital, and he too, a true soldier, I gave him a hug, he started to cry, and his mother's crying, and he said, I just want one thing, I want to go back and protect Eretz Yisrael. I don't know if he knows why he has that mission, but he said, I just want to go back and protect Eretz Yisrael, to see these beautiful people. They want us. They want to connect to us. They want to be part of us. We cannot turn a cold shoulder to them. And most important, right now, they need tremendous financial help. The poverty to stay in the house of a from Ethiopian police officer was murdered. To see Moses farm on his table in an impoverished apartment, he, makes, he made $2,500 a month. And him and his wife and his two beautiful children were living in a simple apartment. Simchas Tyre, he jumped into his car, he ran to the fight, he battled for hours until he was murdered. These people need our help. Thank you.